Okay, well, we'll, get, we'll do this quick. Just tell them to sit down, Coach. Come on in, Coach. Pope, you're sitting here. We've got Divine here. We've got Reginald here. we got Demetrius here and Antonio here. Is that right? I got all yes, y'all's sir. names right? Thank you. Yes, sir. And Divine, I misspelled your name. I said D-E, but you're D-I, almost Divine, right? Okay, Coach, make any opening comments you want to make, and then we'll open up with questions, okay? Uh, Coach first, uh, Jeffrey Pope, Blunt High School in the state 6 eight finals. First of all, I'd like to give uh, praise and honor to the Lord uh, for being here, uh, especially for another opportunity to play in Birmingham. For a lot of people have, have really pursued it. Uh, a lot of teams were a lot better than us at the beginning of the year and even at the end, but God has shown us grace to be here. Um, and also, I'd like to say to Bessemer City, my hat goes out to them. Those guys did a great job throughout the entire year. Uh, again, I don't think if you started at the beginning of the year, you would have thought that they would have been here. But they laid it all on the line. Uh, the coach is doing a great job. And I, I can say that I believe those guys will, will be back for many more uh, state playoffs. Questions for coach or player? Coach, I think uh, – the start of the game, tell me about it. They're number two. I knew you had a scouting report on, got hot. What was the adjustment going on after that? Well, um, I don't know if hot was really the word. I mean, he was, Explosive. yeah, Explosive. yeah, Explosive. man, yeah, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. I, I know we had probably saw them at least once on tape. We knew he could shoot, but we didn't realize that he was going to be unconscious like that. And so, we, you know, we went into the half really challenging the kids to, you know, just lace it up, lace everything up, you know, um, just come out and play some defense. You know, we have been saying the whole time that offense, yeah, you're going to be able to score some points, but, you know, you're going to have to be, really be able to stop some people to win this game and possibly win a state championship. Question for players? Uh, hey, Devine, you, congratulations, man. You, you guys had been here before and you looked like you'd been here before. Just talk about – uh, you kind of controlled the whole game. They made a couple of runs, but y'all seemed pretty comfortable. Just talk about that. Um, well, I would like to start off by giving glory to the Lord because he's the only reason why we're here. And um, I, re I really think when we first came out, I mean, we had a little jitters, nervous. I mean, I know Coach Pope, he was nervous because I've been knowing him for a while, and I look in his eyes and I can tell when he's nervous. And um, I know a couple of my players, I know we was kind of nervous at the beginning, but once we got on that floor, we kind of just – you know, gelled and stick together like glue and just really just maintain our guy. And we just made some great runs, some great plays, and just, um, just glory to God. Coach Pope, what was your scouting report on them com coming in? I know they'd run a lot of zone. Yeah. Tell me about how that, ca how that came across in the flow of the game today. Well, um, I mean, we knew that they ran a lot of zone. I mean, even in Mobile, a lot of teams would play us in zone. Um, and so, you know, we were well prepared for that. I think it was just me more or less coming down, coming down really, okay, I'm caught up in the moment. I, yeah, I was a little nervous. But, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, we realized if, you know, if, if we had got a lead, uh, the, these kids had been here before, uh, the experience factor would have kicked in, and we, we felt like we had a great chance of winning the game. Demetrius, what's up, man? Hey, uh. You guys, um, you guys looked like you kept threatening to pull away there, and they kept hitting threes, uh, but you finally did. Just talk about, was that frustrating, and what was y'all's mentality coming down the stretch when you finally pulled away? Um, for one, we, um, when, we thought, when we thought they were pulling away, we was telling each other, everybody, stick together, stay together, fight through, because we've been in this type of situation before. So just stick together. We, um, we experienced, so when we – when we came all together in the huddle, I was telling my players, telling the coaches that um, we we been here before, so we'll fight through this. Other questions? If not, coach, I know there'll probably be some on the other side of the screen. Congratulations, yes, welcome sir. to the state finals. Thank you, yes sir. Don't forget your power age, guys. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank great game, great right. comeback.
in just a second. I'll be right back. Hey, Paul. Is, is, hey, Paul, is Jeff going to be in here? Oh, there you go. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry, I lost you. Okay. Coach, make any opening comments you want to make, and then we'll let Jeff and Seth ask any questions they want to make, okay. want to ask. Okay. Uh, you can come up here. You know, it's a exciting ride. It was a exciting ride. Tough game, hard fought game, but the credit goes to Blunt. You know, they played. They played well. They made baskets. My guys fought hard. You know, they 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 fought hard entire year, and I wouldn't trade these guys for no one in the world. I love them to death. They did everything we asked them to do. We just came up a little short. Questions, players or coach? Coach, I know it's a disappointment. Anybody that's competitor wanted to advance, but you've got such a young team. How can you stress with these boys that life is about the journey and maybe not the destination and where you guys have came so far this year? Now, that's really one of our mantras. You know, we talked about the journey. We talked about uh, one step at a time, knowing what's our destination. It's a marathon. And each and every day, we just told these guys, uh, use this feed off this and motivate yourself to come back next year even better, even stronger, even more knowledgeable about the game, and really uh, finish, you know, finish. We got a young group. You know, I really wish I can keep my seniors another year because uh, the Sherman Jones, uh, we call him DJ, uh, he played. He played. He played hard for me all year. And, you know, this guy, I'm going to really miss him. I'm going to really miss him. Lorenzo Bonner, uh, Devontae Crenshaw, we had three excellent seniors. They did everything that we asked. But uh, the future, we have a lot coming back. You know, we have uh, eight returning players. Uh, we have Michael Fuller. We have Carlos Bell. We have A.J. Johnson, uh, Chelsea Colston. You know, we have uh, Jonathan Coleman. All these guys are coming back. And we're going to try to finish, you know, what we started here. You know, it's been 14 years since we've been here. And uh, that long period of time, you know, it was a wonderful thing to do. The school was very supportive. The administration was tremendous. The city of Bessemer was tremendous you know the support the love that these guys received it was great it was great so we definitely want to do it again all right this question is for one of the players dj i'm gonna pick on you for a second <laughs> question for you is um i remember at the beginning of the season when i came out to take y'all's picture new coach new new attitude you guys haven't been to the playoffs in second time in school history um and to the final four what was the key if you could name one thing what was the key to you guys making it here um, coach and um, God having faith. Anybody else want to answer that question too? Um, I feel like the same thing he said was true, and also playing as a team and trusting each other. What about you, Carlos? You got any thoughts on it? There we go. It was basically what they said. Like we came out, we played hard, played as a team. You know, that's what we do. And our defense was kind of a part of it, so. Okay. Jeff? Coach, I guess I want to get your thoughts on two starts. Okay. The four points in the first quarter, but then it looked like you unleashed Micah a little bit in the second quarter. I think he has like 15 of your first 16. Tell me what you saw there. Uh, well, we started off slow. You know, some of the shots that we normally make, we didn't make this time. And, uh, you know, our option is to get him open, get him the ball so he can make shots. And they kind of keyed in on him, uh, you know, a few plays. But normally the shots that he was taking, he normally makes those shots. And that kind of fueled the offense. But uh, the first, the second that quarter, you know, he kind of, you know, got rolling a little bit. And they kind of keyed on him again and tried to, you know, take the ball out of his hand. And then we had other players to step up. Uh, you know, DJ, he stepped up. Carlos Bell stepped up. And uh, we missed a few layups around the back, you know, the basket, uh, a few turnovers. And uh, we can't have that. You know, once you play against a solid team like Blunt, you really have to capitalize on every opportunity. And uh, we didn't capitalize. Coach, it, it seemed like you guys kept making a run you, and, and you'd get over that hurdle and then they'd come back with a run of their own. Just talk about that and what you saw in their team in general that maybe surprised you or it didn't surprise you. Well, they're a good team. You know, we, we knew that coming in, that they would be a good team. And we also knew they were an experienced team as well. You know, they was here last year. So they understood the stage, they understood the pressure. And when we did take the lead, you know, they came back, they made a few shots here. And most of it was senior plays. You know, most of it was senior plays. And you know, uh, when you have an experienced team, they make plays like that. 
and we caught, you know, we made a basket here. We got the lead. We was tied. We just couldn't, you know, we couldn't get that, that the extra stop that we normally get, or we couldn't make that extra basket that we normally make. Questions from Micah. Micah, what did you see as the ultimate difference in the game and maybe how hard were they to deal with down the stretch? Um, like Coach always tell us, it's really not them, it's us. I mean, they are a great team. They play good defense. But I feel like my team did a great job with helping me um, create plays for myself. They did a great job both halves. Just some of the shots weren't falling. But Hats off to um, Blunt. They played a great game. All right, um, Coach, you were telling me about some prospects for, and this is kind of at DJ. What's your what's your prospects for college? I know you're senior, so um, you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Well, he does have. You want me to answer? Well, he does have a few offers, and you know uh, we're going to sit down and consider some of the offers because uh, you know he's a college basketball player, and uh, part of my uh, reasoning for taking this job and accepting the job is to help make these guys successful young men. And I want him to be a successful young man once he leaves his program, and I want him to go off and play college ball because he has the ability to do so. And that's the same thing with all of my seniors and all my players. Like I said, we have you know eight returning players. You know The future is really bright for us. We just got to regain that commitment, that motivation to come back out and play. And as we always talk in the uh, huddles, always talk at practice and everything that way, we praise God in victory and defeat. And you know, this right here, we lost. We lost to uh, Blunt and we have to give them the credit. You know, we didn't play our best game, but it's not to take anything away from them because they're a great team. Well, Coach, listen, congratulations. It's been a great season. We look forward to many more. And there's only two ways to leave this tournament. I hate to say it. Yeah. And there's only two ways to leave it and only one gets to leave it. You're right. What they think's the right way. You're right. You're you know, right. but hey, the, but the ones that get here and they, they, they get back. Yes. If they want it bad enough, they get back, and I think these guys do. Congratulations. And we're coming back. Thank you. Y'all are having a good year all the way around, Coach, and everything. It seems like a great year.